back. Hey, welcome back. What week is this? 10? 11? I have lost count, to be completely honest. It's way far into the semester, and we're mm -hmm. way tired. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so today we have with us a special guest. Um, <laughs> and let's just look at, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Tell us what you do. Okay, I'm Debbie Cobb. I'm the Interlibrary Loan Coordinator here at Mark's Library. All right. Do you know what that means? Well, we will talk all about, about it. That. Okay. <laughs> okay. And those of you who may be joining us for the first time, um, I am Beth Rugan Shepherd. I'm the Arts and Humanities Librarian here at the Marks Library, and my co-host. I'm Stephanie Eversard, and I'm the Social Sciences Librarian, also at the Marks Library. Yeah, not at the other library. I mean, like, just actually, I just showed up. I'm random. I'm in a totally different library. I, just, I walked in, looked like you guys were having fun. So <laughs> there you go. Okay, so today, like Debbie mentioned, she is the ILL coordinator, Inter mm -hmm. Interlibrary Loan Coordinator, and we often, we refer to it as ILL, so you may hear us ILL, that's what we mean, we mean Interlibrary Loan. Easier to say. Okay. Yeah, because it's quite a mouthful. <laughs> yes. um, so Debbie is joining with us today to talk about um, kind of Interlibrary Loan, what it is, what it means, um, and then I think Stephanie and I could probably weigh in a little bit on how oh, yeah. we see it getting used by both our students and our mm -hmm. faculty. You. Yeah, uh, and, and us. And us. Yeah, yeah, we yes. use it too. Um, so why don't we just start right off with just starting asking Debbie some questions. Okay. Okay, so Debbie, what is interlibrary loan? It's a good okay. place to start. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of people call it also resource sharing. So if you hear that word, it means the same thing. And basically, it's loans between libraries. Right, because I mean, we can't own everything. No. And neither can other places, no, right? No library no. can own everything. Right, and so like we have agreements with lending libraries, right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where if we don't have something, um, we can hopefully get it for our students and our faculty. Right. And what kind of general things do you guys see loaned most often? Well, there's two aspects of interlibrary loan. There's borrowing and there's lending. So which one do you want to talk about first? Let's talk about borrowing. Mm -hmm. Borrowing means it's our patrons here at USA. They need something, so we request it we borrow it from another library yeah and so when we say stuff we're talking like books okay. books dvds uh journal articles uh we can always ask a lot of libraries will not loan certain items but you can always ask and see so okay so um i think for my people humanities folks right. um we do a lot of book Lending, right. right? I think we probably are y'all's biggest book yeah. book lending patrons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. My faculty, they want articles. Yeah, right. 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 And so they they get delivered in kind of two different ways, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, we get to know our humanities faculty a little bit better because they come and get right the book. Actually, get to see the person. So yeah, tell us, yeah. Like, if, if one of Beth's faculty members asks for a book, uh -huh. how do, how do they do that? Like, how what's the process? What happens? Like? What yeah. happens? Okay. Well, we have a system that's called ILIA. That's our management system. It helps us maintain our records because we do a lot of interlibrary loan. We do about three hundred requests a month. That's a lot. So you create a patron that's a account. Big, that's a lot. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> I was like, that's One a lot. That is a lot. Uh, so you create a patron account, and on that patron account, then you can start requesting material. You know, book loans, journal articles, one request per item. Request comes to our office, we review it, we find out the library that owns it, and we submit it like electronic form that goes out to the system. And uh, then the libraries can say, yes, we can ship this, and they ship it to us. Or they can say, no, it's checked out, or no, we can't loan it to you this day. So it goes on to the next library down the track. If we can get it within state, and we have a hierarchy, we go within state of Alabama first. Mm -hmm. That's quickest. And then we go in the southeast, and then we go to the United States. And then we have actually gotten things out of the country. Yeah, for my people. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but within state, uh, we have a state contract through the Commission of Higher Education at Montgomery. They've set this up to kind of stimulate resource sharing within the state yeah, more. Okay, yeah. yeah, and so they, they use UPS. Oh. That, that comes quicker. Yeah, and so like, I mean, I think I've requested stuff, like a book, so a book, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and I've gotten it from another Alabama library within like two days. Yeah, I mean, it's can, really fast. We can submit it in the first of the week. We can usually get it by the middle of the week. So yeah. That's great. Uh, out of state, US mail, we can't predict you. Yeah. Oh, so it's <laughs> yeah, nobody can predict the U.S. Oh, mail. No. Uh -uh. That would be a special interlibrary 
Yes. Oh my yes. goodness. Yeah. So it's not next day delivery. No. Uh-huh. Right. We wish. <laughs> we wish. Um, but yeah. So, but and then that's mm-hmm. book stuff. Yeah. So you actually come up here. To the yeah, so they and, unpack and it. It's like a little Christmas present. They get yes. it every day, and they like unpack it I'm and sure wrap the staff it. Thinks about it as yeah, I'm sure oh, they're yeah, like, they it's awesome. And then they put your little name on it, like a gift tag. And make <laughs> like, sure it's the right item too. You know, we got to clear our records, make sure it's the right item, process yeah. it, all mm-hmm. that important yeah. stuff. And I'm like, it's a Christmas present. It's a Christmas present. Yeah, and then they put it on the shelf, and then mm-hmm. you come and pick it up, and yep. it's already checked out to you. Yep. Um, and Debbie mentioned um, setting up an account and requesting right. through that. And I will put um, in the comments the link mm-hmm. to the LibGuide mm-hmm. that explains all the policies that Debbie probably will mention right. today and mm-hmm. also the link to set up an account if you don't already have one. Exactly. And so that account is kind of like the central hub for mm-hmm. all of your ILL stuff. Right. So through that, you make requests and you can also request renewals for books. Yes. For books mm-hmm. through that hub, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay, cool. So you said about 300 requests a month. A month. Uh-huh. That's a lot of requests. Yeah, it's not just books. It's also the art. It's so what's, what's y'all's busiest month? Months. Months. Uh, usually on uh, November mm-hmm. because yep. the end of the semester. Deadlines, and, yeah. And then the spring semester, usually, it, it, actually February can be pretty busy in March. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, the kind of midterm yeah. peak. Mm-hmm. That's when everyone's trying to finish up their thesis yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. yeah for sure and, and so go ahead. go ahead and faculty can be very busy all during the year when they're trying to get their tenure track lined oh, up yeah. and they're publishing and they're going to conferences so yeah mm-hmm. what were you going to ask Stephanie? I was going to ask about articles because okay. Okay. getting articles is even faster it's quicker and even fast. cooler than getting books because you same as a book request you put in an article request and you give us as much information as you can so <laughs> then the library can find it you know make it easy <laughs> yeah full citations are really nice you know full volume pages uh, not just the abbreviation. It's a very of the polite journal. way of saying, like, don't give me some like janky half. <laughs> well, you know, I like this article by Smith, please. <laughs> well, you know, not not everyone has the full citation. I understand that, and you find something really neat at footnotes of an other article, and it's really this really minute right, citation. Right. I understand that. We'll, we'll we'll verify it for you and and submit it, but it it it's quicker Speeds if you the give process a, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you know, if you can give us the full thing. Uh, and we find a library that owns that journal title and hopefully owns that year and volume that you need. And we'll submit it. And they, if they can, through their license agreement, if they have electronic access to it, if they can, through their license agreement, they can send us a PDF very quickly yeah. of, of that journal article. And then we, again, make sure it's the correct journal article. Mm-hmm. And then we put it on your Iliad account where you can pull it up. Yeah, like through your, like mm-hmm. come, email comes to you and mm-hmm. then you log in and it's super easy and like it's right there. It's right there for, yeah. for a month. It's awesome. For a month. Oh, good oh, to know. They do go away. So they go, go away. away. Them for a month. Somewhere. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, you can, you can save it on your flash drive or your hard drive or you can print it out, but it's on you for a month. Okay. So keep mm-hmm. that in mind. Mm-hmm. And that kind of leads me into my next question, Yes. which is, um, if you could speak to all students and faculty about like top things that you would have them know when using interlibrary loan, uh-huh. what would these be? So this can be like cautions or please do this. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, full citations are great. Okay. Not only for books, but also for articles. It just makes our job easier that we can get it quicker for you in that respect. And, and you're more likely to get the right thing. Right? Exactly. Right. Yeah. So don't right. do what I did like a week ago and transpose two numbers for a poor history student and then he gets the wrong one. And oh. I was like, oh, oh, that was 76 instead of 67. Oh, oh my God. That makes <laughs> <such a difference. laughs> That was my fault. That was totally my fault. That so I not owned it. I was like, Rebecca, Debbie, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, and, and it makes it, you know, depends on who's got it, too. Yes, yeah, it quicker. It made a big difference. It made it. I remember that. Yeah, that was it, me. That made a big, big difference. So, but we got it. We got it covered. Yes, we, we figured did, it out. We figured yeah. it out. Okay, good citations. Um, give yourself time for this material. Oh One more time, Debbie. Give yourself time <laughs> to re- for us to get this material for you. Don't expect, oh, I'm going to do this. The day before Thanksgiving, and it's going to be here. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah, we were bragging about how fast it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, they are they are crazy fast. They are. 
crazy but fast. There are going to be things like holidays, or it's over the weekend, or it takes longer to find. Or there's, water. you know, hurricanes. Yeah, weather. natural disasters. I mean, who knows? Or it could be just a fewer libraries have mm -hmm. the item, right? I mean, or they could be. Uh, very short staffed at a location and they just cannot fill all the requests in one day or they have to go uh, close their office for some reason. Yeah. So, so history students, if you're watching this, <laughs> my student, like, and that, you know, this happens a lot, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they think like, oh, I'll be able to just, everything's on the internet, right? And so I'll just be able to like, three days. I can yeah. Do it. No, um, mm -hmm. So don't wait. It's always that one item that takes two weeks and you go, yeah. No, so just give yourself plenty of a buffer time, space, right? Yeah. Yeah. And always remember when you have books checked out, there's a due date. Oh, good point. <laughs> and if you don't just get to keep them in perpetuity. No. I think the faculty no, might need that explained. No. They you know, they understand if you need a renewal, ask us. We may be able to give you a good do, new due date. Mm -hmm. Okay. But at one time I need that book back. Because <laughs> they don't want you to keep it forever, and and it makes us look bad because interlibrary loan works on good faith. Mm -hmm. They do yeah, not relationships, have to right? not loan us this material. They're doing it on good faith, and if you do not follow their rules that they set for you, mm, good point. They're not going to loan you anything for us, in the future. right? Because for the most part, it's free, right? Because I don't yeah. think we've mentioned that. Oh yeah, we haven't mentioned that. But let's actually let hold that thought. Hold it, okay. um, Because I want to <laughs> I wanted to follow up on that. So sure. let's say that there's a faculty member or a grad student out there who has a book, and it, it no we don't have any renewals for the one book that he has, right. right? But he still needs it. What should he do? Come and talk to us and let us know the situation. We'll call the library and explain it to them and say, please, can we have it a couple more days? Or can we have it another week? Or, or could you request it from a different... If there's another location, okay. we can do that. So you guys will work with... We'll work with We you, just don't pretend just, that the due date doesn't just exist. Don't hide it somewhere. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And just pretend like it doesn't happen, because right? Because they'll start sending us invoices and wanting us to pay for it. And they can be quite expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so just come talk to Debbie. Super mm -hmm. nice. She'll help. She'll figure we'll it out for it you. Out. Yeah. We'll work it out for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Invoices. So let's talk okay. about cost. Well, speaking okay. of invoices. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Scary cost. invoice. Cost. Yeah. Okay. Well, in our library loan is not free. We do have an operating cost in our mm -hmm. background, which we use, you know, for your research. That's not an issue. But there are a lot of libraries who will actually charge you for a book loan or charge you for a journal article. And we will not do this until you tell us it's okay. We let you know your options before we submit it, if there is a cost involved. Yeah, and I mean, I, I borrow a lot of stuff, and I mm -hmm. have never incurred a cost, except yeah. one time. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it, Harvard was the only library who yeah. had it. That was yeah. me too. And Harvard time. always charges, right? It was Harvard. Yeah. And oh, the, I, big, the bigger I institutions that will. I Harvard didn't really need it Me too. Much. I was yeah. like, uh, it was like 25 bucks a pop. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, Harvard, if you're listening. Well, for one, for one reason for that is everybody would go to them. Yeah. It's such a big collection. Yeah. I'm telling you, they get a, probably about three to four, five hundred request a day. Whoa! Because everyone will go right. to them. So that was their kind of way. If you really want this. <laughs> How much? How much, How much do you really, really want it? How much do you this? really want it? And also too, they ship UPS. So, mm. so they're covering their costs. Now. Right. And you mm -hmm. say that though, but if there is a cost, you guys you always know. ask that's why faculty I want member. an email. Give us a good email. Oh, um, good point. Read your emails. Mm -hmm. Yes. I always tell students, like, please, when you're signing up do for your ILL account, emails. put your actual South email yes. in there. Don't yes. do, like, slizzy muffkins at yahoo.com uh -huh. or whatever. Or like, put a throwaway email, because I think a lot of people do that when they yeah. create accounts. They put a throwaway yeah, email. Yeah, no, no, no. no. We're, you this is how need, they communicate yeah. with we you. Need, we need an email where we can really send you. Yeah, things back and forth, especially if I, I understand your citation. Do you really want this? Do you want that? Yeah, she's going to want to communicate with and, you that and way. This is this. Okay, this is a great journal article, but it's in Chinese. Do you still want it? Yeah, and she would ask you that through yeah. email, mm -hmm. <laughs> not a carrier pigeon. So like, <laughs> put a good email address, right? Exactly. Okay. It helps you. So yes. we talked about cost. Yeah. We talked about availability. Yes. Um. What? Other things do, would you want people to know about? So good citations. Good citations. And also, if you're looking at the indexes, and you, I know you tell your students in your classes, is to make sure you look and see if this abstract, if, the, if it's a 
the uh, language is in English. Oh, a right. Lot. Yeah. Because important. there's a lot of our indexes and a lot of our abstracts that will index journals that are not published mm -hmm. in English. That's a, really That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. 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 I run into that a lot. Um, in literature, as you no, imagine, I, mm -hmm. yeah, and mm -hmm. history too. Um, I do in political science, especially European politics. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So unless you it's read getting more now, mm -hmm. yeah, unless you read German really well, then you. I mean, there are y'all out there. And yeah. I'm not going to assume that you can't. So I'm just going to mention. Oh, by the way, this is going to be right. In. Are you, you aware? Do you still want it? You still want yeah. it? Exactly. Oh, okay. So maybe we should. I just thought of something. Um, mention that. The Marks Library Interlibrary mm -hmm. Loan System is separate from, in case we have anybody watching from, in the Allied Health and Medicine. Right. Okay, so explain that because that's okay. not my jam. Uh, the Biomedical Library handles the research needs for re students, faculty, and the colleges of medicine, nursing, and allied health, and that includes interlibrary loan. We handle everybody else. Okay, so if you mm -hmm. are nursing, allied health, or medicine, you do not do interlibrary loan through our library. Mark's library homepage. You go through the biomedical library homepage. It's okay. a totally separate unit. Yeah, and that's all mm -hmm. due to like background stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just just note to note out there, you gotta be one of us to hand, to get to play with Debbie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. There's somebody like sort of like Debbie there over there. We don't really know. But <laughs> yeah. Nicole's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So what else would I, would I do? I always tell students about interlibrary loan. Oh, what about, okay. This is kind of, I know the answer to this question. So I'm gonna ask it. Okay. So let's say that um, there's a book on our shelf, but it's checked out. Yes. And I, can I request that through the interlibrary loan? No. Uh, you, that is part of the guidelines that are set up by the American Library Association. There are certain guidelines that, which we have to adhere to. And one of them is you do not interlibrary loan request material that you actually own in the house. Now, if it is damaged, if you pull it off the shelf and half the book's been ripped out, that's a different issue. We can do that. Okay. Uh, if it's on our catalog that we own it, but you can't actually find it up there. Okay. And after a time, we can't find it. It's gone in the black hole. Then Happens. We request it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Generally, no, no, but there are some weird little like me things, which would another be a reason to come talk you're, to you, right? You know, you're supposed or your to, liaison you're supposed to uh, go to circulation and see if you can recall it, right? But if there's issues, talk to us and we will see what we can do. Okay, so mm -hmm. don't assume that you can just because it's not on the shelf, somebody else has it checked out, you can ILL it, right? What about my textbook? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're expensive. I know, I know. I, I hate it too. But <laughs> but if I'm going to get a textbook for one person out of 30 members in a class, I can't, you know, we have to do it for all of them. And we yeah. cannot get 30 copies of one book. And you cannot keep it for the entire semester. So what would be the point? And you cannot highlight in it. Ooh, that's a good, good, maybe we should just say that. A point, don't mark in the books. Don't mark in the <laughs> books. I mean, first, don't mark in our books, but no. really don't mark in a book that we borrow from somebody else. Somebody yeah. else. It's, it's not our yes. property. It's like, yeah, that's not our property. So it's please like the don't library do that. has borrowed a book from the library. So yeah, please yeah. don't do that. No. Um, we don't like marking anyway, but just don't, don't do, do it. it. <laughs> oh, okay. Another like, if you if you're like me and you flag all your pages, take the flags out before exactly. you return it, please. <laughs> Just be cool. Yeah. Like, just be cool. They're they're awesome, super helpful, but like, mm -hmm. they don't want to clean up after you. Yep. <laughs> so, do, but yeah, we they do. Trust me, they yeah. do. But we remember. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who, if you guys out there have questions, go ahead and ask them mm -hmm. before we like start wrapping stuff up. Um, Stephanie, what else do we want to say about Emily alone? Well, okay. we borrow a lot, but we also oh lend. We, we also lend. Yeah, we lend. It is resource sharing. It's back and forth, and we have and it's very good PR with our lending library you know the reason why I can and Rebecca can borrow so much for our patrons is because what Mike does with lending outside and uh, we are a net lender which means we lend out more than what we borrow Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I assumed I it was the audience. I've got stats, yes. <laughs> oh, let's hear it. And, hear and because we're a net lender, it means our core collection is very good. Oh, well. See there? That's a, that's a good thing. <laughs> we're going to take personal credit. I'm for taking there. personal there credit for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not really. Lending. Up to this point this year, we have loaned out 3,236 items. That's a lot of items. 
uh, book loans or, or loans was 1,357. Articles was 1,879. That's lending out to other libraries. So what's that in comparison to borrowed? Borrowing, our total was 3,022. So we've, we've lent more than we have borrowed. Yes. Now look at that. I assumed that would not be the case, but yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised too. It's really I'm good good for us, nice. Yeah, we're good. Articles, 1,655. Loans, 1,367. That's a lot of borrowing and lending. So this that's is a just, busy group. Just in the 1st of November. Yeah, we're not even, so when did not that start? Through, up? Yeah, January 1st. January 1st, wow, okay. Year's not over yet. Year's no. not over, and this, nope. just, I'm sure it's probably ticking up oh, right yeah. now. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, so things to remember too, um, is that we are coming up on holiday season, right? Yes, do not. Uh, please, please, if you need think you're going to need something, go ahead and request it now so we can work on it. If you wait the week of Thanksgiving, it's probably not going to come Yeah, because pretty much, yeah. like, I mean, um, correct it should me be if done. I'm, you should yeah, be done correct now. me if I'm wrong, but a lot of lending, li a lot of other libraries will close up ILL, like, the entire the week, week right? Okay. Yeah. So, those of you guys who might be working on papers due for finals or the week after Thanksgiving... Yes. Please make those requests now because if you make it on the Monday of Thanksgiving, Debbie can't guarantee that the library that got it will open it. up right. shop. Right, just because we're open doesn't mean they're open. Yeah. They're open. Yeah. Right. yeah, exactly. And uh, faculty, remember holiday season's coming up, so it, Christmas holidays. If you want something, go ahead and start looking over your list, your your wish list, and go ahead and submit them now so we can get them in before the holidays. Right. Okay. Cool. Anything else we want to talk about? Say. You know how, why it works the way it works in the background? No. Real quick. Yeah. You know what WorldCat is. You show your students yes, WorldCat. Yes, we and, do. And that's what the public side. Yeah, you guys have the back side. We have the back background side. side. And there is a, is a side that cataloging uses to catalog our items and put our holdings on there. As you see the list of the libraries. <laughs> yes. That's well, all the stuff that I don't do. Guys. Well, if we did not have that with the holdings, we couldn't find a library that has the items so we could see them all day long. Yeah, I mean, all that stuff's important. So catalogers are wonderful. So good job, catalogers. Yes. Glad you guys are doing it now. And me. that's how we got get, find, <laughs> yeah. find the stuff is yeah. through catalogers. So. Oh, we have a question. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so the question is, can you get rare books? Okay, so let's take them one at a time because there's a bunch of things. So, oh, okay. All right, Debbie, what about rare books? Do those get ILL? Probably not. Because they're going to be in special collection and archives, and like with Deborah, you have yeah. We started talking about last week, right? Unique material, unique materials, rare materials, um, even art books that cost like three and five hundred dollars. They're not going to loan those out. So, so the Bodleian is not going to put Shakespeare's like uh, what's it? The Quatre? Yeah, the one no, I'm thinking of no, um, in 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 UPS no, for you. No, <laughs> no, and we're not we're not going to get the uh, where. Quaker marriage records from Colonial, Pennsylvania. I had that one time too. Yeah, uh, that's, that's not going to happen. happen. Okay. So you, what we do is we all say, okay, we'll we'll give you contact information where the location. You need to talk to these people. Right. So unique, unique archival material probably right. is not coming. No. Nope. Nope. All right. So what's the next one? Is um okay. So genealogy. That's kind of probably kind of the same, same thing. thing. Okay. Same thing. What about newspapers and other things like that? So newspapers might be a little bit different. Well, not the original newspaper. Mm -hmm. right. That's not going to be loaned out, but if it's on microfilm and if it is something that will circulate, if they will loan it out. Okay. And so you guys do, I was a lot buzzing past this morning. Yeah. There is microfilm mm -hmm. sitting up there. Yeah. But they will, probably won't loan it out 20 reels at a time. Ooh, they will point. probably do segments. So know what you need. Yeah, you got to exactly. know exactly what you need. Know what you need, need. right? Uh -huh. And we'll work with you on that. Yeah. And, and then if you have out. questions about any of this stuff, right, if you're watching, which you obviously watching <laughs> questions um get in touch with um you can either get in touch with debbie or yeah. you can I'll, i will drop um their the ill's email and phone yes. number into our mm -hmm. comments today mm -hmm. but also if you have any questions about like maybe what you need um or kind of date mm -hmm. ranges or mm -hmm. we're talking about newspapers get in touch with your liaison library exactly mm -hmm. um and it's there we work really us. well with the ILL folks, they yeah. are literally right down the hall from friends. We are, <laughs> yeah. yes, they are literally <laughs> right down the hall they from are. us. Yeah. They're like literally twenty feet. And we um, bug you all the time, and we we love to go bug them. Mm -hmm. They don't bug us; we bug them. <laughs> so, um, if you have questions or concerns, yes. we will sit down and figure it out, mm -hmm. and we'll talk yeah. to ILL mm -hmm. and get it worked out for you. Mm -hmm. So, don't just struggle in the no, dark. No, uh, don't think, oh, I can't get this, or you don't know till you ask. So, yeah, see right. what we can do. 
I think that's an awesome way to end it. You don't know until you ask. Exactly. So there you go. Ask us. So that's a little bit about a resource that I think a lot of students don't know a whole lot about, Mm -hmm. um, but one that is available to you as a student. And so, um, and this we we probably should mention very briefly before we get out of here, that this is generally for higher levels of research. Right. So we mentioned like our faculty and our majors and our Mm -hmm. graduate students. Mm -hmm. Generally, ILL doesn't really start, I mean, Stephanie probably can weigh in on this too, it doesn't really, you don't really need interlibrary loan no. until you're doing some kind of highly specified right. Right. research in your discipline. So those of you guys who are you know, researching for English 102, our collection is yeah, big enough. It should be big good enough. Yeah. Collection. Good collection yes. for that. But mm-hmm. when you get into, you know, those crazy engineering journals oh, and yes. stuff like that that we just mm-hmm. may not have. Senior projects. Faculty research, grad student stuff. Or you yeah. get something from a library that does have a strong collection in a certain area that we might not. Middle Eastern studies, right? right? Right. We may not have the strongest collection Mm -hmm. in the world, but we know that. (laughs) Right, it is getting better. A lot better. A lot better, but we know the the Ohio State has a great Middle Eastern collection, right? Right. So, or Mm -hmm. Russian studies, although our Russian collection is just banging. See, look at at us like. (laughs) I don't know, I'm like, wait a minute, our Russian collection's amazing. uh, Middle Eastern studies? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, but if we're, with some, what we're, I guess what we're trying to say is, um, mm-hmm. if you're doing your research for English 102 paper, you probably don't need no. interlibrary yeah. loan. No. It probably don't have time for it. So, yes. you know, it's not your best interest. Yeah. But mm-hmm. so if you're doing specialized research out there, our graduate students, our upper level um, undergrads and our faculty, yeah. ILL is, you should have an account. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. so. Become your friend. And don't forget your password. <gasps> oh, oh <yeah. laughs> Yeah, because they can reset it for you, but they can't recover it for no. you. So your history Mm-mm. will be gone. Yeah, you'll lose your, like, so just write it down somewhere, right? Nobody wants your ILL password. Yeah, you no, can write it down. No, no. You don't you have to keep yeah. it secret. Keep it safe. Like, I'm just going to borrow right. books pretending to be Beth. <laughs> I know I'm getting all this trashy, like, um, political science stuff in my head. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for the questions, okay. and um, thanks, Debbie, for joining yeah, us today. Oh, she did a it. way better Thank job on my ILL than we could. Yeah, um, no try. And so next week, join us at 2, because mm-hmm. I think okay. we discussed we're going to talk about something that drives librarians absolutely insane. Saving your papers! Yeah, we're going to talk oh, about smart... You. Just being a smart student. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah, some smart strategies okay. when you're working in the library. Yeah, some, yeah. some tips that, yeah. you know, but we'll, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll bill it. It was like, what drives librarians crazy? That's what we're talking about next week. <laughs> we only have 25 minutes, though. I know. We'll, we'll start with one thing. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So, okay. anything else? Any last comments? I think we're good. I think All right. We're good. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining Bye. us, guys. Bye.